Prince Harry has made his first public appearance since returning from the Invictus Games in Toronto where he made his first official appearance with girlfriend Meghan Markle. The royal, 33, is joining forces with the Defence Secretary today to tell soldiers that dealing with mental health is just as important as learning new combat skills. The former Army Captain and Sir Michael Fallon will make the case that mental fitness is as important as physical fitness when it comes fighting wars adding that troops should be encouraged to use psychology in the same way as athletes do to maximize performance. Harry is launching a new partnership designed to improve the mental health of current and former armed forces personnel by rolling out support to veterans and those still serving across the three services. The Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry will provide advice and resources to the Ministry of Defense to improve training and education, announcing the partnership, Sir Michael said. By looking after our mental health we are building a more effective armed forces that helps keep this country safe. Our soldiers, sailors and airmen are the best in the world but we will only maintain that if we are as serious about improving mental health as we are our combat skills and cutting-edge technology. So partnering with key groups like the Royal Foundation is an important part of our strategy to improve the well-being of our serving armed forces and veterans. Today's joint initiative comes after Prince Harry gave an extraordinarily frank interview about coping with his mother's death earlier this year. He said he had hoped to help smash the stigma and start a national conversation about mental health. Rates of mental disorder are slightly lower in the armed forces, at 3.2 percent, than in the general population, at 3.5 percent, but the MOD has made it a major priority. Troops will be encouraged to use psychology and well-being in the same way as athletes do to maximize performance. Resources will be integrated into staff training courses and briefing processes across the armed forces from the middle of 2018. They will also be widely available online to strengthen the mental health support and services already available to defense personnel. Sir Keith Mills, chairman of the Royal Foundation said, we are delighted that this new partnership with the Ministry of Defence will see the UK leading the way internationally in prioritising the mental fitness of its entire defence community. A survey published last week found a total 1.5 million more people, 3%, were talking about mental health in May compared to February 2017. There was also a 12% increase in the number of those admitting to talking about their own mental health.